Russell, Julia Savory. How are you guys? Good, Good. thank you. Firstly, I want to say that you, I saw the film yesterday and I had nightmares last night. Oh. So it's nice to be facing the people that made me go through that. Oh, perfect. Um, <laughs> what, what sort of reaction have you had to the film so far? Yeah, um, uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed, we did this eyewitness cam um, when we did test, or, uh, test screenings. And there's, there's a couple of the moments in the film where it's quite shocking and kind of gross. And uh, one of them is uh, when the guy, uh, one of our guys snaps his neck back. And um, it, it, it has such a tactile reality to it, like, because we did it in old school with animatronics and puppetry. And with the sound effect and everything, um, the audience's reaction was like, <laughs> it was the best <laughs> um so yeah that that was that was cool yeah it's been cool i mean i i don't i just what i've only seen the movie one time but people seem to really like it i don't i don't uh i don't read reviews really so i i, I don't try to try not to get like too deep into that world but i think it sounds like people are really liking the movie so yeah we're going to be seeing the film with 1400 people right. today and with and you know um, where we saw it uh, in America, it's um, uh, with an audience um, in Austin with the Fantastic Fest. It was it played in this theater chain called the Alamo Draft House, and it's very much like a sports bar. They have like these bars where waiters will come and put a jug of beer and a pizza and while while you're watching the film, and so it was quite raucous and, and it was like it was really fun. Yeah. But like tonight, we we've been told that to expect lots of like um, audience. Participation. participation lots of roaring and yeah. flapping and through the film which I, I can't, wait. Get, can't wait yeah, yeah. Your, your character is quite a gruesome finale should we say yeah how did you prepare for the role uh, I, I honestly all I did was watch documentaries okay. uh, to try and because I thought the most interesting uh, to me the most interesting thing about Ford was that uh, he was a normal guy at one point in his life, he didn't. He wasn't like some trained killer, or like he. It was. I always thought in my head he was like a pharmacist from Wyoming, okay. and that's what they were. That's who. That's what the people were before they went and, and did war. So all all I did was watch uh, documentaries and say like how how did they act? How did they talk? You know, they were. Their, what did their faces look like? That kind of stuff. But I didn't try and watch a bunch of war movies. Julius, what challenges do you face in trying to bring this pretty gruesome script to reality? Uh, there was a lot of challenges. I mean, uh, I mean, it sounds really boring, but the biggest challenge we had was the fact that we were shooting in, in England in summer and our movie's set at night. Okay. And so it's very short that, uh, nights, and so you're always chasing the night. And um, so we, we <laughs> had to compress like what would be a 10 hour shooting, shooting day into five. And then just rehearse it during the day, and then sort of as soon as the, the, the sun went down, like just gun it. And like, there's quite a lot of uh, action that we do at night, and um, and and some drama and stuff, and that that all takes time. And so that was one of the biggest challenges. Um, the other challenges we had was, you know, I wanted to do everything in camera and make the world as practical and have a tactile reality to it. And it's just it just takes longer. So, you know. Um, You've, you've in the movie you've got things like you know um, one of our guys snaps his neck back and uh, and in a violent way and you know that was all done with puppetry old school puppetry and, and animatronics which is really cool and analog but it just takes time yeah. and so the, the, the biggest the biggest challenge was time it's never enough of it <laughs> my final question to both of you and you said that you tried to keep it as real and in the camera as possible was it frightening whilst you were making the film sometimes Oh yeah, I mean, the, the, like, um, Pilu has half his face missing, and that's all done in camera of special effects makeup, and um, that was that was scary for everyone. Yeah, you look at it and you're like, that looks crazy. Th there's a moment in the movie where you actually turn around and go, holy shit, right? And, <laughs> and it's and it feels very real because I, I imagine that was like, holy shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> you look crazy. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's very hard to. Uh, to get that sort of reaction, yeah. the real reaction, if you've got someone with a blue face or dots on them and they do it later. Yeah. Um, there's, there's this, you know, it, it just adds that extra 10%, I think, yeah, to totally. performances totally. and reacting. Yeah, the reaction to somebody that's there who I can actually see and I can see exactly what their face looks like is a totally different thing than you'd get when you, you're not, you don't see anything there. So that was, a, that was a pretty special thing to be able to work with. Well, guys, thank you very much. Thank no, thank you. you. Cheers.